Soul X and Winners, you know, he's kind of like woken up, be like, okay, I gotta not sleep on my opponents anymore. Yeah. Yeah, and no, when, you're, when you're going, when you're getting far, at least in the finals, you know, you can't, you can't take them to, uh, unless you're like number one in the world, like MK. So like Soul Bomb or like Soul Zeta and Zed or whatever the tournament is, like whatever local is best to you. I mean, if we're talking about MK Leo, like his Lucina is nothing to stop at. No, like his, yeah, no, his Lucina it, is. What's he got? I feel like it was just Lucina. Usually when he's in SoCal, he can just go Lucina. Yeah. Which, to be fair, like, he does pull out the Lucina well, Martin, for certain. Sorry, I mean, it, it was in it. Was that in SoCal? I think it was. No, it was in Europe. It was in Europe. Europe, Europe yeah. He was playing some Marth as well, too. Stuff in the but K9, a different story. Going gets, down and stuck. And I guess the parry. Trying looking for Detect Chase, doesn't find it, but gets the jump out of the fledge. The up smash. Yeah. It just sucks Solex right into the vortex. Good way to try to even it out though here. So now Solex is gonna try to keep him in the left trap position with that three. He got gets him with the counter on the side B. Three for this one. You know, he was looking for the second side B, but K9 not giving to him, going for the up B instead. Okay, that was nasty. You like got him back to the Oh yeah, good the turn up confirmed, so I'd say. Ooh, but gets a down smash and Soul X loves to do that because it catches normal get him and it catches jump. Yeah. The K9 is gonna hit him with a couple more combos, you know, hopefully keep him up in the air. Look at the forward air, misses that one, but he's looking for air again, he gets hit with a down tilt. Oh no, this is bad. I feel like K9 is just not used to Soul X's peach for Daisy. Exactly. How, how often does uh, K9 play against Peach? I feel like the only high level Peach players are Soul X and then Razo and then Navi. You know, exactly. those, those, those are the yes. main three Peach players in our region, right? Yes. Navi is pretty good. I have not seen uh, him play set against Razo. I feel like Ra Razo wins most of the time. Oh, okay. Right. He's gonna end up taking it 84.3% on K9 though. He's gonna land the quarters on him, get the screen going. Oh, see, we're looking for the counter now this time. Looking for the counter this time. See, you can tell K9 not falling for this one. So I was throwing him out a little bit too hasty, and you know what? He's losing percent in ground for that too. We gotta understand, like, is it really worth it? But gets the jump from ledge. Forward smash killing him at 70. Great job by K9, keeping his composure together, not letting himself fall apart, and just pushing the pressure onto Solex. Saying he's basically going to stay up 1 0. Different game this time. Different game this time than it was in winners, on the winner's side. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like he's slowly learning what Solex's habits are. You know, he likes to jump from ledge, so I'm going to forward smash him to touch that. You know, he likes, likes to down. He likes yeah, to he likes the counter, counter so let, let me wait for him to land, you know? Exactly. That's the name of the game, right? He's going to be baiting out. He's going to be fine, but here we are again. PS2 gets him with a down smash. Um, okay, he's actually able to convert something off, but this one does not get the dash check, though. Goes for the up air combo, the quarter combo instead. Here we go, gets the parry, and I feel like that's something that Solex has been doing very well in this matchup, is just getting all these parries on K9's aggression. Pretty, pretty good against Wolf. One of those things you really, really need to do because he relies a lot on falling with Mary. Ooh, now it's a hyper aggressive Ooh, puppy. Does it again. Yeah. Trying to go for that scoop with the up smash, but sneaks in the back air on, on the retreating option. Exactly, gets that back air off on him. Now Solex is coming down with the ability. Throws out the counter again, but is able to land it against the blaster. That's how we get back on. Gets the grab for him. Drawing out the turn up, so it's up to the Always good option to receive. But ends up landing the grab to get off the ledge. So like barely misspacing that side B, but gets the turn up, gets the tech option, throws him back off stage, and we're gonna see what's the ledge option. On oh, gets the jump from the corner. Catches the jump out of the shield. I noticed Solex actually really, really good for the normally, so good job on him making sure to keep that pressure on him in the corner. But this time he's dashing around him, can I dashing around him? For the force match, he's not find it for the blast as well. And I feel like what we're seeing a lot from Solex is all these super low floats. And I feel like the reason why we're seeing that is because K9 has that super explosive back air and the really disjointed air, you know, in the air. So you don't want to be super high against Wolf, or you don't want to stay in the air against Wolf. And all these counters, yeah, Solex, Solex is really paying for them now at this point. 
showing the card a little too much, so maybe he pull it back and then do something else. We get some of the up smash out of shield too. K9, a 45% on his second stock. Ooh. It's the turn to grab, trying to go for a fair, and getting that fair hits below ledge too, so if he can just land one of those at the right time, he can two frames too. But the dash attack tries to land with another aerial, but he's doing the counter. That lands again, the peach bomb with a little follow-up. You know, just waiting for the landing, and you know, K9 just seeing like, okay, I see you retreating away, so I'm just gonna land straight down and not worry about what you're gonna go out. K9 playing much more patient right now. So he's waiting for the move every single time. Tries to get him with the down smash game. Unless he's gonna end up paying for it, but Sola said it was 63%. Let's see if he can hold on to his lead. I mean, you said that K9 was playing patient, but I feel like K9's more so waiting for Solex to press a button exactly. and just hoping that the button that he presses is better. Exactly. He's aggressive, but he's being a little more patient. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's a completely different K9 from Winterside, that's for sure. That's for sure. It's a completely different to be honest, yeah. K9, was, you, can tell, like you can tell when K9 feels his back against the wall, he plays a lot slower. Okay. Makes a lot of sense that we're seeing this happen right now, but Soul X keeping his ledge trap up, but K9 being able to get back to the stage. Going in the air, gets hit with an up tilt, a board tilt. Looking for that empty hop to grab, not going to be able to find it. Gets the punish on the board smash. And Solex has even things up. Now both players just need that one strong hit in order to go for an edge guard or maybe even a kill option. Exactly, and you can see K9 lifts the grab barely. Those are always one of the more heartbreaking moments. So luckily doesn't get too punished for it and lands with the parry, but misses the F smash as well too, and he's going to pay for that side B. I mean, that could have been punished so much harder with a forward smash, but, you know, I'm going for the safer grab, and both characters are just so, so limited in what options they can go for. Go for it. So it doesn't get the sweet, sweet spot, though, but still doing a lot of damage. And I love the drift back from Solex right there to avoid the nair. Here we go. Both players are looking for their, you know, safe options to hit their shield. Exactly. Oh. And hits him with the forward tilt this time. Is it going to take? 150. Looks for the Nair, but Enzo's gonna heal with the Parasol. Now Solo's gonna be back on the stage. With There's control, the dash attack, almost gonna take it, but not there. And Saturn's on Saturn the field. Saturn is on the board. Look at him chilling. No oh gets it away now. Nah, <laughs> both players are playing so tense right now. Because they know a single interaction will be the game. Exactly. Oh, does it there mean it that Roland ends up rolling back and getting hit by the float back air? Solex able to tie it up. One, one. I don't know how I felt about that last time situation. It looked like a lot of uh, it was definitely it was definitely tense. That's what it was. It, it, was, it was definitely tense. Honestly, last talk situations with K9 are always tense mm -hmm. because you know Wolf has so many kill options. Oh, the switch! You gonna switch it off to the Lucina? Did you see how the game went um, earlier in Winter Finals? I wasn't really uh, looking, but it wasn't Winter Finals. That was Winter Semis. Sorry, Winter Semis. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It was it was close. Playing some Lucina, and I I do I did I did see it like get close. Um, I think it was last stock last hit, but see, starting off with a couple combos now. Solex getting cool 67 percent man feet. Come on. Gets the board throw. Solex is and a turn so of God eyes, dude. <laughs> Solex is so good at getting those 60 percent combos. That's it. It's pretty much you can't afford to get grabbed or down something. Exactly. At, at the opening game. Because exactly. he will find a way to maximize his damage. And then. Ooh, but K9. Not messing around with his ledge trap. Ooh, the Nair, too. I clicked another board there, but hey, that is a knockback for it perfectly. Uh, Solex, 0%, two stocks. How's he gonna end up taking this stock here? I mean, that stock just evaporated so quickly. I feel like the main cause of it is Solex uh, burned his double jump. And hey, he lasted super long. K9 showing a little emotion here, too. Luckily, we got another little 10% on Solex this time, so maybe you can push through with this one. Both four tilt. Here we go. Both players just running around on the ground, but he has to worry about the giant sword swinging down on him in the air. And you can see Solex just struggling to find his way in. He's off stage. K9 looking for the edge guard, not going to find it. Gets a fair instead. Oh, here comes the combos. Ooh, Uppies out of it. It's so smart. Every Swordsman player's dream right there, being able to get out of combos. Hits him with a forward smash. Dash dancing around. So scary for the K9. Well played, though. Solex trying to get something else started. Ends up jabbing the counter. 
Oh, he's off stage with that double jump, but Solex not opting Ooh, to go for the edge guard. He's got a stitch tempo. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, oh, oh he's gonna catch he, back up. You know what? He didn't have a double jump, I don't believe, but he catches the jump from ledge and the oh, air dodge man. into the blast and that zone. Takes the stock. Zero zero, even game here. One one. This is super important, man. This is the break. Able to get out of the combo with an up B, but what are we gonna do out of shield here? Looking for the forward air. Oh, gets and some play two and gets dash attacked for it. Now, are we gonna get juggled here? I'll get safely down. I feel like there was a way harder punish, but when you're in a tense situation like this, you don't go for the optimal punish, you go for the quick punish. Exactly. K9 himself running through, being able to pick up the turn up, maybe do something off of it, instead of Peach Bomber or Daisy Bomber. K9 just trying to search for this, you know, one hit interaction to throw Peach off stage. Gets fared, gets another fair, and yet he's trying to look for a third one, not gonna find okay. it. You can see K9 looking just to play regular fundamental against the character. Oh, you know, but ends up getting down supported. Here's a turn up, goes for the up, he gets on the stage, does not need to get up attack though. Four tail sends him off stage, set. looking for the edge oh, guard, no. not gonna find it. Yeah. No. Preemptive on the down beat. Oh, good shield breaker, I like that. Coming down with that move. Super good. Goes for the dancing blade. We're cutting it short. Oh, gets him with the dash back instead. Oh, no! but the back air. The back air is going to get him. And Solex yeah. with the pop off. 2 1. Up to Solex. You can tell that, you know, so many little interactions right there. Micro exactly. spacing, you know, how much landing lag you have on your moves is just so critical. The crowd is feeling it, man. The crowd is feeling it for sure here in the venue this time. So. So Lex up 2-1. You can see them. It both can be caught. K9 not sure which way to go here with the Wolf or the Lucina. Uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard to tell how he does exactly like better in each matchup, but I mean. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If, if you're a Solex, right. you know you've beaten most of his characters at least once. Right. You know? So if you're K9, the question is, do you want to do what you feel like is your best character, or do you want to feel like what is best on paper? Exactly. So I, and I feel like we are we are seeing the best character. The yeah. Best, the, like the, this is the, this is a hard play. Exactly. So no, he, he tried he tried going mine. He tried going mine with with exactly. Lucina. Now he's going hard. So everyone knows like it was, being in that situation when you have like a secondary, except for those like a single mage out there. But when you're in that position where you have a secondary and you're not sure whether or not you're gonna take the game with this character, the, the other character, how it feels to be in this situation. But this time K9 playing from the heart, like you said. Brings out the laser, going back to PS2. And I feel like this is where we see the best game. Mm, where he wants to stay into the game. Right. Top player mentality, that's where it's going to show. That PGR rank. Shoot out the lasers, he's chilling. He's chilling, shoot out the lasers, playing some, some calm neutral. This is what I'd like to see. I mean, if you have the lead, I feel like Solex wants you to press a button so that he can just get his amazing combos. And there's the forward smash, and that's going to get punished. Yeah, it ends up hitting with a dash stack, but they can't get much else off it. Oh, but it's this nasty little turn combo. I have a combo going through. And I like how he went for the dash stack, because most players would try to go for a dash grab, except because forward smash, it's like Meta Knight, where it has like a lot of startup, but like not a lot of end lag right. on it, that he might whiff the, the dash grab. Right. So going for the dash attack, just get the guaranteed stuff and worry about building up your damage, you know? K9, here in the Lester situation, ends up getting the up tilt. And that's going to be 3-2 for K9. Soul X is going to have to try to close out this game. Coming back from behind, or is K9 going to be able to bring it to game five? I feel like if you're Soul X, you know, you're trying to break K9's defense. K9 is not committing to anything hard. Forward air, forward air, up tilt. Brian is getting hit by the counter. Let's get out of the stage here. Ends up beating that roll. Wow, the up beat just beating just out beat the turn up. Yeah. Ooh, the side B trying to, you know, attack K9 aggressively. K9 just going underneath it. Gets a combo right there. He's off stage and he gets the forward yeah, smash read. That's what he's been fishing for the entire time. You don't really see Solex go to off stage those rolls that it wasn't looking like, but. This time, K9 landing that grab too. Nice little tomahawk. He gets him there. The beginning of reverse edge guard situation. K9 getting back up onto the stage slowly, but then getting hit by a back here. Off the stage, let's have situation. Watch that turn up. You gotta watch, watch the bear, yeah. Up. Watch that back air. And so, like, able to tie it up at 104%. That's a lot of percent. You're gonna hit him with a down throw. Pushing forward throw here. 
they're kind of interchangeable at this point. Yeah, as I said, it's not. It's not Oh, but the up smash okay. quickly scoop him up. Yeah. Landed behind him with it, lands an up smash. A cool 2-1 lead, a pretty big for K9, but not like it's not possible for Solex to do it. We've seen him do it before, so. You can see Kenan playing a lot more patient again. Now this time actually like really, really being patient. Like he's just sitting there shooting out his lasers and everything, so. I feel like a patient, a patient K9 is a very, very scary K9. Because that's when you see Zen mode K9. Exactly. Trying to land him with that laser. Just waiting for him to ground. I was going for that forward air back here, but he's not going to land that one. Another laser. I feel like so finally sneaking in a single hit, but you know what? It's only one hit. You're going to need to rack up a lot more damage if you're going to uh, seal out this game. Exactly. Uh, hitting him and with those lasers, keeping the lead, but. Now they're both kind of setting it, resetting it back to neutral and again with the lasers. Sneaks into fair. Looking for another one. Gets it on the wolf flash. Now he's on the ledge. Looking for the landing. Not going to find it, but you know what? The safe. I like that. Safe to drop shield. It hits. If it doesn't, then it's perfectly safe. Exactly. He didn't drift away. commit too hard to a, to a back air or anything like that. So they try to get too close to him. So at least this time. Maybe we can end up finishing off the stock from K9 or. Ooh, catch it, catch it with his back air. Turn up thing on the ground now. Yeah, but not getting the sweet spot, so it just goes nowhere. Gets dash attack, he's off stage. He has to worry about getting ledge trap. Yep. End up getting him with that nair. Ooh, there's all. Oh, oh, he tried going for the forward tail, but unfortunately, that parasol, parasol is super that. disjointed. Yeah, yeah. parasol is like the bottom of it. Ooh, but ends up landing that forward tilt now. So let's trap situation. Let's see how Solak gets back to the stage. See, he always gets with that good back tilt. K9, doing a good job. Respecting it. Respecting it. And then hitting him with the forward tilt when he's soft. Yeah. I mean, he was just looking for a, a get-up option at that point. Exactly, you know, exactly. He just went for it. Wait, wait, wait and see if, what he could do. Yep. So. If he jumped from ledge, he would forward tilt. If he neutral get-up, he forward tilt. Mm -hmm. If he hangs on ledge, I feel like he was space enough where he wouldn't have been hit by forward tilt, but, like, he's still on the ledge, and he has to pick an option eventually, you know? Exactly. And if he rolls, then he was positioned in a way where he could just get the ground. Looks like the play from Hart was the move. The character choice from Hart was the move. And yeah. K9 feeling himself knowing and understanding that he could end up taking this game as long as he just sticks to his roots. Good on him. 0-0. Zero, 2-2 zero. Two, two here at Battlefield. I feel like this is going to be really hard for Full X because if K9's playing this patient camping game, he loses the projectile. Wall. Exactly, yes. His laser is going to be hard, but at least we're seeing Solex actually pull out the shield this time. I saw a lot of the times during the last game, he was just tanking a lot of them to the face, so this time not making that same mistake. Picking up a couple turnips and just throwing them. And I love how he's picking up the turnip because he's waiting. He's known that K9 is not going to approach. Exactly. He tried approaching the first two games, didn't work out. Now that K9 is playing the, the patient, like, cup to be game. Now they're both just going to end up playing some, a lot of safe neutral, but ends up hitting him with a turn up. Now we're in a cool situation. Tries to hit him with the up air, but does not land it. Gets a tomahawk grab. Down throw. Ooh, cannot get the ledge up though. Solex getting back on the stage. Back to the same situation. Gets him with the down air, I mean down smash. But instead lands the up smash out of shield. K9 just trying to sneak in these hits here and there, but not going to find it. Gets the grab off of the misplaced ward air. Ooh, gets that roll read in. Trying to shoot him from the sky. Another ledge trap situation. Ooh, that was sick. See, so dash forward a little bit and just turned around and then threw out the back air. One thing that a lot of top players uh, do that a lot of uh, lower level players don't know is that they don't actually, they'll literally practice walking up and stopping their movement, stopping their momentum. You know, they don't just dash blindly. Like, they'll move to make sure that they do the space and stuff. It's all about that micro spacing. You know, exactly. How can you bait your opponent, be in your range, and then safely punish their options? Exactly, but now we have K9 at a 128 to Solex's 22, but Solex with stage control at the moment. Ooh, ends up getting him with that. I don't think that was an air. No, that was fair. Four that was fair. Ooh, gets him with an up throw to forward air this time. Solex now in his own ledge trap situation, but ends up getting out of it with the down tilt. Man, just to tech away so that he wasn't able to extend his combo. Mm -hmm. You got him coming in with a nair, hits him with a dash attack, and now forward tilts his peach bomber. Now how are we going to be able to get through? See, he does the wait. Again, this time instead, he tries to go for the for sure stuff. K9 just barely getting out that blaster in time. Goes for the up smash out of shield. 
exactly what I'm saying. He just goes for the for sure stuff every single time instead of actually running off the stage and going for Nair and like that. And I feel like this is a very dangerous K9. You know, this is a K9 who's found his rhythm, he's found his momentum. Mm -hmm. He's playing Smash. He's yeah. playing Smash. Man. Solex will try to land that up air while he's on the platform and ends up shielding it. Oh, if you're Kana, not even moving. Just jumping in place. Uh, if you're Solex, you gotta wonder how you're gonna take the stock. Because you can't let K9 get any more percent on it. Exactly. This is Solex on tournament stock now that we're seeing. And hitting him with the turn up into the combo. Now we have to get this ledge trap. Ooh, goes for the down smash again. Ooh, Ooh that is there, but not gonna get the down air. See there, earlier he would have probably gone for the counter, for the side beat, but you can feel K9's conditioning actually putting in work. So Lex not going for the counter stack. Ooh, right when I said that. Commentator's good. Yo, he's on the ledge, and the quick side beat out of the ledge catches K9 off guard. Ooh, he read that, but he did all the wrong And to look in the wrong way for the grab. Ooh, tries to jump down the counter, gets it grabbed again. K9 is running around, running around this guy right now to take the least, but back is gonna take it. Soul X at a 77. If I were to say, dig deep in your soul, Soul X, I think it'd be an understatement. I mean, this could all be even with one combo. Exactly. Peach, oh man, so capable, so capable. But I don't think but, K9's having it. He knows he has a lead. He just catches the turnip, throws it straight back at him. Here oh, we go. It, this is it. The parasol play yeah. gets him with a tipper. Oh my god. And a wolf, K9, gonna end up keeping it a cool sigh of relief from him too. Like, whew, I did not lose that one. Ended up keeping the composure and the top player mentality going through. But good one on Solex, right?